Hi, my name is George Garcia and I'm a Product Support Specialist for Autodesk Eagle. In this video, we're going to be reviewing the new functionality in the Move command in the latest release of Eagle. So as you can see, this is an example launchpad file that comes with Eagle. Go ahead and activate the Move command and you'll see that now we have these new options. So the default option now is called Preserve Angles. And what it will do is it will maintain the angles of the traces coming into the part. So if we take this part for example, you notice that as I move it, it's maintaining the angles of entry. So if it came in at 45 degrees, it's going to stay at 45. Came in at 90, it's going to stay at 90. And you can see it as I move, the angles are preserved. So gone are the days of having to move components and then reroute the traces because you got all these sorts of weird angles. Now should there be a need for a free move like we used to have, then you can use the second mode, which is called free. And those of you who have used Eagle before will be able to recognize the behavior as the old behavior, where the lines would just maintain straight, shortest distance pass to the part. Now there is another option which is very interesting, and that is the disconnect option. Now why is the disconnect option interesting? So I'm going to go ahead and activate it. We're going to zoom out. And let's say, for example, that I intend to replace this part with one that maybe has fewer pins, but I want to preserve most of the routing. So, what we can do is using the disconnect option, I select the part, and you'll notice that I'm moving it away. Air wires are going to the traces, but the traces are staying there. Okay, so all the traces have, have been maintained. The, the current routing is safe. Now I can go to the schematic, delete the part, and if I go back to the board, we'll see that all of the routing has been, is still preserved. So in older versions of Eagle, what would happen is if you deleted a component, whatever routing went to that component would be ripped up. The replace command most of the time can do a full replace of a component. However, when dealing with parts that have different pin numbers, replace won't work. So in those circumstances, users had to forego their existing routing. And if there was critical RF traces or anything like that, there would be a lot of work to recreate that. But now, using the disconnect functionality of the move command, you can preserve all of the existing routing. So as you can see, the move command has been greatly enhanced. We can now preserve angles, which is a desired behavior most of the time. When needed, you can go with a free move. And if you want to preserve a precise layout, you can use the disconnect option to be able to remove a part and then replace it with a functionally equivalent part. Thanks again for watching. Have a great day.